Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on my David Austin roses. There's a couple of things that I'm going to be showing you in this video. The first one is a new David Austin that I bought. A couple of you suggested this David Austin roses and then I also wanted to give you an update on the ones that I've already bought. So the first rose I'm going to talk about is the carding mill. I still have it in the pot and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it in a pot and not plant it in the ground and then wait until next year to put it in the ground but what I wanted to show you are the buds on this one it's got one it's got two three four and five so I'm looking forward to seeing this bloom with all this buds on it. The next rose I wanted to talk about is the Munstead Wood. So some of you suggested Munstead Wood or had mentioned that Munstead Wood is another good choice. So I went ahead and bought it and this one I'm going to put in the ground today. and. It looks really healthy too. I don't see, oh yes, I do see a bud coming up on this one as well. That one there. So the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video is the aphid problems that we're having. We're having aphid infestation in my David Austin roses and we have been trying to control them. Now aphids love new growth, uh, especially on roses. They like to feed on the roses at the very tip. Uh, they're eating on the new leaves, the new buds, and we have been trying to control them with some of these uh, solutions. And I wanted to talk about these solutions that uh, we use in my garden. Now we don't like to use harsh chemicals in my garden, so we chose to use uh, solutions that are for organic gardening. 
and I wanted to just let you know which ones we have been using and I will put a link in the description below if I find these like in Amazon but you can purchase this from Home Depot, uh, Lowe's or any garden center that you have. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the solution. We used this last year uh, in my rose garden and it works as insecticide, fungicide and meticide. The thing to remember when using this is you don't want to apply this during a sunny uh, warm weather because it will burn your leaves and also it does have a fishy smell so if that bothers you you may not want to use this uh, solution. So the next solution I wanted to talk about is the neem oil. We've been using this for several days now. It has controlled the aphid problem but not completely and uh, the benefit of this one is it doesn't have that fishy smell it has kind of a sh orangey smell to it and it does control the fun fungus in your roses so you can give that a try if you want so the next solution i wanted to talk about is this insecticidal soap we're going to be using this today and see if it completely controls the aphid problem that we're having and again i'm going to be applying this uh, in the afternoon or uh, early in the morning just so I don't have that risk of burning the leaves. So according to the labels on this uh, solution, you can use them on edible plants. You can use them on your vegetable, you can use them on your fruit. Um, so they're not just for flowers and ornamental plants. Just be sure to follow the directions that they give you on the labels. And uh, that's it. I'm going to give you another update and hopefully in a few weeks to see how the aphid problem is going. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video useful. Please remember to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.